What's going on, guys? It is the Keymaster84 coming at you guys today, bringing you guys some more uh, Destiny gameplay. Yes, that is right. We're playing some more Destiny because unfortunately that's the way it is right now. Um, we would like to be playing something else, but uh, <sighs> I don't even know if I'm going to get to that right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How do I get out of here? Let me out. Let me out! I can't get out. This is ridiculous. Did we take our own turn somewhere? Okay. Oh, that. Alright, guys. Well, that doesn't work. So don't go that way. You guys over here? It doesn't. Oh. This area doesn't take you anywhere. That's cool. Um. Yeah, but anyways, guys, so yeah, we're playing some more Destiny, uh, um, I just want to go ahead and talk to you guys for a minute today about, about E3, man, the best event of the year for gamers, or the worst event, depending on who you are, um, because you're going to get what you want, or you're not going to get nothing, because that's just the way it works, yeah, you either get it all, or you get nothing, oh, really I need to take this right. Um, anything up here? No, just cliff. Okay. Oh, we're crouching there. Oh, no. No, taking forces. Don't do it. Oh, look at that. They're way up here still. We gotta get there. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, yeah, that's where I always saw Streamer House back in the day. Um, anyway, sorry, guys. Reminiscing of old times. Um, but yeah, so E three is coming up, guys, and it's yeah, it's it's, it's, gonna be, it's kind of a weird year this year. I'm kind of noticing already. I think it's gonna be kind of an odd E three. I think a lot of it um, could potentially get leaked beforehand, just because if you look at it, some of it already has. I mean, not necessarily leaked, but uh, you're talking Call of Duty already had an event. They pretty much broke down their new game. Um, you know, I mean, usually that kind of stuff's reserved for E3 just because they are, you know, one of the biggest titles of the year. Um, as much as people will, will smirk and jerk at that, um, I mean, it's true. I'm sorry. I mean, you're talking Call of Duty, you'll be like, oh, we had a bad year. And they're still the best selling game of the year. So, I mean, you can talk all the smack you want about Call of Duty and how it's, you know, it takes no skill, blah, 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 but uh, until another game can come along and supplant it in sales, um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, you're kind of stuck with your show. Um, yeah, and that's, uh, that, but anyways, that's not the point of today's video. What today's video is about is about E3 and... Some of the stuff I've already been seeing, man, I'm getting pretty excited. I mean, you got uh, Bethesda just told one of their indie studios that they were up that uh, you guys need to change the name of your game straight up, yo. Because, you know, now that so that makes everybody wonder, like, oh, well, if they need them to change their game, does that mean that there could be a, a Bethesda game with that name, which people are always excited about? Um, you know, and it's just little things like that, little tidbits we get throughout, you know, throughout, throughout the year. I mean, everybody's also assuming that we're going to be seeing a uh, a preview of the SNES Classic, which me personally, I'm really excited for. I mean, I was a huge fan of the SNES. Um, I think it could potentially be a really awesome thing for Nintendo. I, I mean... Obviously, until the game comes out, we won't know exactly how it's going to play or anything like that. But we can always, always guess. Um, especially if the price point is sixty bucks again, like it was for the regular Nintendo. Um, that could be huge for them. I mean, it would, the S, the, the NES Classic was huge for them. I mean, and a lot of people that were buying it were, you know, older people, people my age. Uh, we were swooping that out because it was like, oh my god, nostalgia. Nostalgia everywhere. Give me all the nostalgias. Um, and I think that's what a lot of people never counted on is the fact like 
my generation and the generation after mine is how nostalgic we can really be with certain things and um, I think that really showed a lot of people like hey man we could make more sweet content for these guys with that kind of stuff and make stupid money on stuff we really don't have to invest a lot of time and money into fine by me sign me up <laughs> yeah it sounds as silly as it sounds it's true I mean you guys want to give me HDMI and F0 and Zelda and, and things like that? Pfft, be my guest. Sign me up. Take my money now. You know, that's just how I am. I mean, oops, wrong buttons. Um, yeah, so that, and I, I think this is this is what we're going to be coming to is... Wow, I was like the slowest door opening in the world. I mean, cool, but slow. Let's kill some dudes. I think this is where I need to be. Ah! Took my face, jeez. So yeah, um... What's this thing over here? Check this thing out. But yeah, so I mean that's just one aspect of E3. Oh. I thought I I am really excited for E3 this year, I mean... We're gonna have the uh, Xbox Scorpio revealed uh, officially at E3 this year, uh, which is gonna be exciting. I mean, you're talking about a true 4K player. Um, I'm anxious to see the price point. Um, you know, it, it's stuff like that that's like one of those you know, situations where you're like, well, I'm excited about it, but. Is it going to cost me a thousand dollars for a console? Because uh, if that's the case, I'm good, man. I mean, as much as I want to play it, I don't want to. I don't want to spend all my money for the next two years for gaming. My gaming budget and for the next two years on a 4K console. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much all it is. It's a it's a fancy 4K console. That's yeah. You know, it would be nice though because I can play some of those 4K Blu-rays I've been buying lately. Um, and by Blu-ray planks because it's a better deal in my opinion but uh, no I'm excited about uh, Super Nintendo Classic I'm excited about uh, Destiny 2 Call of Duty World War 2 I'm excited for um, I'm excited for Bethesda because I just don't know what what they're going to be bringing to the table this year um, just because they kind of I mean they have a library of games, but they don't have, like, a library of games, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I know that sounds silly to say, but it's like, they, 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 they have a library of games, but it's not like, I don't know, it's not, it's not like an Ubisoft or a um, developer like that. It's, it's different. It's not, oh, we have 28 studios working underneath us, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's not that. It's... Yeah, we're Bethesda, you know, we do what we do, and we do it really, really well, and everybody always seems to be happy with our games. It's like, well, yeah, because you guys do an awesome job every time you guys drop a game. So, I mean, you know, they, they had a the track record for it. Uh, and so I think that's something that, you know, is interesting, Bethesda having their own conference. I mean, Microsoft even moved up their conference, so I'm interested to see what why 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 the why the move i guess um i mean they've been presenting at the same time for as long as i can remember for at e3 so why why this year change unless they have something fairly monumental to to share with everybody which uh would be exciting it's been a while since we've had some like really killer awesome um news coming out of microsoft um, I mean, I don't know what we're going to get, but, uh, hopes are high. I mean, what the hell? Um, but yeah, my hopes are high for the game. Um, I, you know, gotta wait and see. Um, excited to see what Sony comes out with, because last year they did a really awesome job. I'm not going to lie, they did a really awesome job about telling us what's coming in the future. But now, this year, I think they need to pay the piper and have some actual stuff this year. I mean, it's great to talk about, oh, we have this game in development, we have this game in development, this game. 
But until the game actually comes out, me and personally, I could care less. I mean, you can keep on. I mean, I've been hearing about uh, StarCraft Ghosts since Super Nintendo, and it never even came out. I mean, it got pushed out to. It got pushed all the way out to the N64, and then the PlayStation 1, and then <laughs> it just kept on getting pushed and pushed and pushed. Um, so it's, you know, I mean, until you actually give me some solid details, that's why it's like, anytime anybody's always like, oh, Halo, Halo 6, Halo 6, I'm like, man, why are you even talking about Halo 6? They are so far away from releasing that game, that's not even funny to talk about. I mean, really, it, it's so far away that it's, I mean, yeah, it, are they going to be releasing it? Yes, I'm sure they will release it. Are they going to be releasing it anytime soon? No. So why, why worry yourself with it? You know, it, it doesn't make sense. It's the moot point, especially at E3. I mean, we might get like a teaser trailer this year, which I'm not going to lie, I'd be a little excited for that. But... <laughs> I'm not definitely not keeping my hopes up, not holding my breath on uh, getting a teaser trailer for Halo 6. Um, but you never know. It could happen. If it does happen, I'll be super excited and I will tell you guys what I think of the trailer. But, um, I think, let's see, is there anything else that I'm like super antsy for this year? Um,. I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2, which I'm sure is going to be awesome. I can't remember the last time I saw a bad game from Rockstar. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, Square Enix. I'm excited to see what Square Enix is bringing. Uh, but beyond that, I really can't think of anything else that I am super amped for right now. Only because... Um, the big, the big platform holders really haven't uh, announced anything. You know, usually by now we would start hearing like, "Oh, looks like Sony's bringing da 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 da." I mean, I'm sure Sony's going to bring um, they're going to be bringing uh, Destiny Two and Call of Duty World War Two. But I mean, that's it. And the only reason we even know about those because the companies. So they're going to be at E3. Yeah, more info available at E3. So it's not like Sony did anything for that. I mean, it's just a part of their deal. So, I mean, that's a little different. But uh, needless to say, though, in the long run, I am excited for E3 this year. I think it's going to be a great year for us gamers, as always. I mean, I think that's what I always get most excited about is, like, I'm not such a xbox fanboy that i don't see the value in that kind of stuff i do see the value in uh the sony games and things like that i just don't i haven't had a game yet from sony that's been like okay i have to go buy a playstation um there's been a couple that have been close um, but there has yet to be a game where it, it's so good when I watched it at E3 that I'm sitting there like, I think the last one for me was Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet when it was first at E3, I was like, oh my god, this game looks amazing. The quality of the game, everything about the game, it looks amazing. And, uh, yeah, needless to say, I haven't been excited for any of the PlayStation stuff for a while now, which sucks. They're, I think PlayStation is a great competitor. I think they're, they've been doing, definitely doing things uh, the right way as of recent. Um, they've definitely been hitting it hard as far as the um, exclusive content goes. I mean, they've been kicking the exclusive content train into full bore and going with it, uh, which is awesome to see. I think it's great. Um, does it suck? There's some games I don't get to play. Yeah, of course, but there's, you know, same thing for, for PlayStation fans. There are certain games they don't get to play, you know, which sucks. I'd be disappointed. 
Um, so I mean, it's a two-way re- it's a two-way street. You know, it's it happens, but uh, take the turn of corrupted land. No, but um, no, I'm, I'm really excited for E3. Um, I can't wait. Uh, it's coming up. I mean, it's pretty much right around the corner. Uh, I can, I can't, I can't remember the last time I was looking this far forward to an E3. Uh, it's been a while. I, I think it's just because of this is what I'm doing, as well as oh jeez. Pack of Wolves is prowling. Got a lot. Of, got a lot of stuff going on right here, guys. Let's see. Uh, I think I need to go in here to kill this guy. I need to find this dude. find this guy fast. I'm tired of waiting. Um, yeah, no, so let me know what you guys are most excited for E3. Uh, if it's if it's a Sony thing, if it's an Xbox thing, or if you're more excited for um, you know, a particular game, PC game even. Uh, let me know down in the comments below that we greatly appreciate it. And remember guys, don't leave without leaving a like. It greatly helps the channel and it makes helps the channel grow. Uh, make sure you're telling all your friends, your neighbors, your wives, your sisters, your brothers, your mothers, your uncles, your aunts, your dads about this channel. We can get more stuff going on here. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think down below. And remember guys, this is Key Master 84. And as always, we play games to make games. And haters are going to hate. I'll see you guys on the battlefield.